here today and we're bringing you the hug. Champions believe in themselves even when no one does. Jim, what does that uh, pertain here? Champions believe in themselves even when no one else does. That's so true. And I think, you know, a lot of people in our my in business here, they look at me and they say, wow, you know, look at that, an overnight success. Well, no, it was 39 years in the making. Uh, we worked hard, and there was a lot of naysayers, but I believed in myself because I knew that if I didn't believe in myself, Chelsea, no one else would. So if you're out there and you want to win, you want to be a champion, the first person you've got to believe in yourself. Don't expect other people to believe in you. They will, but a lot won't. So you have to do it and be the champion of yourself. Like, don't be scared to tell people what you do. Don't be scared to you know, uh, sharing your victories and let people know what you did. Because if you want to be a champion, the first one you have to champion is yourself. I think that's a huge thing. I think when you think of all, I think when you talk about all people who have achieved success or even great success, even a lot of the sports athletes, you can go back and a lot of those people were either cut from their high school teams, cut from this, told they couldn't play. And they're actually the ones that are you know, leaving the most memorable moments. Michael Jordan, you know, that's, he was cut from his team, but he believed in himself. Uh, you know, when you believe in yourself, obviously practicing and putting all the effort into yourself. And I think that's where you start. If you can believe in yourself and put the effort in, uh, sky's the limit. You'll be a champion. Believe in yourself. From Chelsea's Hugwell Huddle.